Is that all you have to say? Tink. Oh, baby. Did I mention I'm reunited with my babies? Oh, so cute. back home and back on track. Welcome to episode one of my prep series, prep series 2016, which will hopefully end with me actually stepping on a competitive stage. For those of you who are new, I did compete two summers ago, um, and since then it's been a bit of a rocky road. I've learned a lot of lessons, and now I feel like I'm finally back in like a really good place, which is a good place to start for a prep. Now, for the show that I'm kind of sort of got my eye on. Um, I'm roughly 15 and a half weeks out. Um, as you saw, I did weigh in at 132.6 this morning, which is fantastic because I was basically 132.2 before I left for Florida, so not much gained. Now, the day directly after, I was like four and a half pounds up from that, but I mean, you gotta take into account that you hold on to a lot of water when you travel by plane and that day I did have like burgers and fries twice. That's a lot of salt. So that didn't help, but I was like four pounds down since I got back and I haven't even hit the gym yet. And so now I did and today is exciting because it's back day and I'm reuniting with my dad lifts. I'm so excited. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna take you around for the full back workout since I did do a back workout recently. So you can check that out. I'll put that in the suggested card box if you wanna take a look. Back is usually like a more like maintenance thing for me. Um, so I don't do a whole lot of like, unless it changes like drastically, I'll film it again. But right now what's most important is my deadlifts and I will take you, I will show you those. Um, I'm thinking I might even do a full day of eating today as well. You will see that this morning I just had my carbs and that's it. So my current split right now, what my plan is, I'm currently eating, I'm currently eating 1,600 calories on a 50-30-20 split, and until that changes, I will let you know. I'm gonna go change now, and by change, I mean workout. Sorry, I'm pumped up on pre-workout. It's crazy, I haven't had pre-workout in like two weeks, and now I feel like I'm going crazy, so I will see you later. I try to envision the events that take place as individual elements. Combine all of these again as a whole, which is why I am the big bad head. Thank you. 
done deadlifts in like maybe even three weeks so <laughs> so that's but on the plus side on the plus side I noticed that my belt is a little loose which means my waist has gotten smaller so yay winning <laughs> now I'm gonna go do some abs maybe a little baby biceps and uh, some cardio I might check in during some cardio we'll have a little chat monsters and now it's time for cardio. Welcome to one of my many offices. This is where I like to answer some of your comments and catch up on some of my favorite YouTubers. And more that a lot of you probably did the same. <laughs> and so yeah, I am potentially looking at a show right now that is in October, so I am roughly 15 and a half weeks out, which where my weight's at, I'm pretty much right on time. Because if at 15 weeks out, if I lose about a pound a week, I'm exactly where I need to be, uh, and that's without depletion. So, and depletion, you kind of add like an extra three to four pounds, depending on how many carbs you're having, like within your prep. I firmly believe that I can probably try to keep carbs up until peak week, but we shall see. I might be look, I might be dreaming in Technicolor, but a girl can dream, a girl can have goals. So that's it. I don't want to say like it's going to happen. I'm not quite there yet. I kind of just want to see how things go. I don't want to turn to doing anything like too extreme at this point in time just to make it to a show in October. Um, but I do plan on doing the work. I do plan on doing whatever it takes. We're back on track already. Like I said, my current macro split is a 50-30-20 split. It's pretty high in protein, but it works well for me. It's exactly what I was doing right before I left for Florida, and that was getting the results. I wasn't plateauing or anything like that. And I managed to keep my metabolism revved because apparently I didn't gain any weight on this vacation, and I'm not gonna lie, I didn't exactly, uh, I mean, like I said, I did kinda balance it out. Like I would eat really well most of the day, and then we'd ha like go out and like have something else. Now, I'm really happy because last year I was in a very different place in terms of my food. Again, I was low carb dieting, so like once I had access to all that, it was kind of like, this is my cheat now, like I want more of this. Whereas this time I was kind of like, I'm good with eating well most of the time and like having the occasional treat. And the occasional treat didn't mean like going apeshit on all the treats, you know what I mean? Like I was able to balance it. and. You know, I was asked a lot, like, what's your plan on this vacation? And I was basically eating intuitively. Now, that was my plan last time, but I trust myself a lot more this year. <laughs> this year, I don't intuitively need to eat, like, an entire pizza and cookies and brownies and all kinds of stuff. And so, yeah, I won't do too much cardio blah blah because I got some of my YouTube videos to watch. But I'll, uh, I'll show you guys what I eat the rest of the day. I am a hot, sweaty mess. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna eat. So post-workout meal, I've got two caramel chocolate chip rice cakes because bananas go bad. And these are less carbs. <laughs> and I got two scoops of Rocky Road flavored protein. And then I get to go home and relax a little bit before I see my two clients. And I think it's nice enough today that I can like chill out by the pool. So I'm gonna do that. It's four o'clock, I am starving. So, uh, I'm gonna show you what I have right here in the mix. I've got a half a pack of the soybean spaghetti, 150 grams of chicken, and I'm gonna put one serving of this like 
spicy tomatoey peanut sauce. The macros are pretty decent on it and it's awesome. I'm not gonna lie, this soybean spaghetti, even though like I'm not I'm not like a crazy big fan of having like a ton of soy protein, but like if I eat it twice a week, it's really not a big deal. Um, it makes me feel, I'm not a pasta eater, like I've never been like somebody who's like, I gotta eat my pasta. But for those of you who are and are having a hard time giving that up, this stuff is bomb. Um, that one, they also have like an edamame and mung bean flavor and a black bean spaghetti. They are pretty low in carb and like per serving, there's like 20, 22, 20 to 22 grams of protein depending on which one you get. And did I burn? And um, it's awesome. I have it like half a pack at a time and like as you can see, it's pretty voluminous. I feel like I'm having a giant bowl of spaghetti every day. It's kind of amazing. I kind of love it. Not gonna lie. Um, and yeah, and if you can find yourself like a macro friendly sauce, even without sauce, you just like put a bunch of like garlic and onion and whatever on there, like it's awesome. So when there's a will, there's a way. And as like cutting gets closer, I'll still be able to have like maybe one pack with like zucchini noodles just to like lower the carbs if I need to. Anyway, I'm an avid volume eater. So life hack, diet hack, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna eat this because I'm hungry. Last meal of the day is this big hunk of steak, some romaine lettuce, a little bit of balsamic, well, uh, balsamic vinegar, and a little bit of basil because why not dress up some plain old leaves? I'm actually just having that because, ooh, lighting is really bad. Um, I'm just having that because I don't really have a whole lot of other greenery <laughs> in my fridge right now, which I'm gonna have to take care of tomorrow, which I'll, I probably should do that. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna nosh on this bad boy and get to some editing and call it a night. That's my day. So if you like these types of videos, um, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I plan on doing um, weekly prep series videos. Um, it'll include weigh-ins, you'll find out how I am adjusting, how we adjust we, I should say we because I'm not my I'm not my own coach. Um, how we are adjusting the back rows and my workouts and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for extra stuff. Please subscribe, comment below if you'd like if there's anything else you would like to see in these videos and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Today we are going to crush some legs, but before we do that, we are going to crush some all-you-can-eat pancakes because America.